Now to the other mass shooting in our area. Six people were shot Saturday night at Galveston's Lone Star Motorcycle Rally, one of the largest motorcycle rallies in North America. Fortunately, no one was killed here either, but from making memories one moment to dodging gunfire the next, what should you do? For answers, we go to KPRC2 investigator Mario Diaz live along the strand. Mario. Andy, it's a question you really don't think about too often, but just look at this site right up here at the Strand. You can see this bullet fragment. That's where the, the bullet damage that's left here on this sign uh, at Patch and Company. This was a shooting in a heavily packed location here along the Strand. You had thousands of people. It suddenly erupted. Fortunately, law enforcement were able to subdue this suspect very quickly. But again, the question goes to what do you do when something like that happens around you? It all went down right here. How quickly were your men able to converge on this scene and help people? We had officers within the block within seven seconds of the first shot being fired. We know that we had officers converging on the gunman. Seven um, seconds. That's correct, seven seconds. It all happened so quickly along the famed strand Saturday night. Gunfire hitting businesses as well as six people. Police say the gunman, 20-year-old Pettis Ray of Hitchcock, is a self-proclaimed gang member who was apprehended within seconds. Within 30 seconds, the gunman was chased down and caught. Doug Bally is the chief of the Galveston Police Department. As unexpected shootings at public events are becoming more prevalent, we spoke about the one thing that you rarely hear about following these types of shootings, advice on exactly what to do. Do you have children? I do. What do you tell them? if they're in a situation where suddenly gunfire erupts? Uh, I think you, as first responders, we're taught to, to run towards the gunfire, uh, but, but my children, I would tell to, to take cover, um, get out of the way, leave the area as fast as you can, uh, but be vigilant of your surroundings. How often should parents be having these type of conversations with their kids nowadays, whether it's going to a high school football game or just going to see a tree lighting ceremony in their in their town square. Unfortunately, I think that uh, that what has occurred in society lately with the gun violence, um, I think daily conversations have a plan before you leave the house. Um, have a plan if you are to become separated. Have a plan to meet at a specific location if that specific location is, is somewhere where something has occurred. Have a secondary location so that you can all meet back up for safety reasons. How many parents are having those kind of conversations? Probably not enough. And, and to be quite honest with you, I didn't have those conversations enough with my own children. Straight honesty there from Chief Bally here in Galveston about what you should be doing before you're in an event where gunfire erupts. Again, that is the signs here of how violent this shooting was on Saturday night. Six people were hit. They are recovering. One is in critical condition from what we were told at last check. Uh, bond for the suspect in this shooting, Ray, who you saw in the report there, is set right now at about 900 thousand dollars live along the strand in Galveston. Mario Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates. Mario, thank you.